they sent me for COVID testing. I had a scratchy, sore throat, um, had come into work and they take our temperatures there. And I had a 100.6 fever to me and they sent me for COVID testing. So I went to a respiratory site and waited in my truck outside to be tested. And I, and I will tell people it is very uncomfortable. It is not a good feeling. <laughs> it's pretty deep in your nose. And then it's scary waiting all that time to find out. They're like, you know, it could take up to two weeks to get this back. And I, I panicked for a minute. I'm like, I have to go home <laughs> with my kids by myself. Like if I get that sick, what am I, what am I gonna do? What are my kids gonna do? What if my kids get that sick? So then there's also a feeling of guilt. Like I, I went to work to help people and now I could potentially have hurt myself or my own family. I have a two-year-old son and an eight-year-old daughter. Um, my son has asthma, so I think about it way more. They did come back negative, and I did start feeling better on like day four. I guess coming from me and probably anybody else you talk to in the healthcare field, we're still gonna get up and we're still gonna do it. But the biggest thing that could protect us, which would help us take care of others, would be our PPE. There's no hazard pay, there's no package for us, but I have had six open heart surgeries. For someone like me to not have the right PPE, if I were to get that sick, it could kill me. There's no reason we don't have these resources. We're, I mean, we're America. 